What's up, fam? Welcome back to Red Big John's Backyard Fishing. Giving on to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Without him, none of these things are possible. It looks like not having a truck is going to slow me down come next year. So I'm already out. Day two on the kayak. We on uh, Lake Kinnamagundi. And this water is like crystal clear too. Man, it's nice. Hey, man. Of course, I got Rob with me. This is super clear, boy. You don't see it like this too often. No, what's uh, what's the water temp? 62. All right, that's pretty good. Yeah, I don't have my stuff, man. My stuff, my battery finally ran out. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna work my way back here and on up, stay away from the grass cutters. Although that could be good too if it stir up fish, maybe the two bite. I don't know. Fish around here for a minute. They were already back in there. Oh, uh, in here? No, no. On the other side. The other side of the pier. Uh huh. Back in there, just went straight down towards the end there. All right. Well, it's a good thing I got my fluorocarbon. I ain't know the water's going to be like this. I bought a lot of it. Well, let's get busy, y'all. See this? You see how clear this is? This lake ain't hardly ever this clear. I may have seen it once like this in the 10 years I fished it. There is a bass. I can see it moving and all this, but you know, like it always goes. If I can see him, <laughs> he can see me. Wind is going to pick up today. I'm talking about 10 to 15, so we'll see how that plays out. Yeah. Somebody tell me why when I show up, these uh, lawnmowers is always out here. <laughs> I'm sure all the other days that I'm not out here, they ain't out here unless they out here every day. <laughs> anyway, it's funny. We got the wind and the wake. <laughs> we out here now. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Just gonna have to work around them. Well, they kind of coming back once they drop something off, I guess. Huh? Just came up here to come up and hit it. Oh. No, he did. He did? He was the first one. I didn't see him drop. Him. Yeah, he was the one when I was over there. Well, we're here now. So, got to make the most of it. I know the wind pulls a pick up. I'm hoping they'll stir them around and make them bite. They may not, but hey, we can go over to the docks. Might want to do that now. They've been gone. They'll just probably shut them back down. All right, we'll go along that shore. Yeah, let's do that. I, I just like how the water's all churned up. I'm just hoping that maybe that'll agitate a bass into biting. That would be sweet. Figure all that 
churning and then the fish get scattered so they start going all over the place. That seemed like to me an opportune time for a bass to feed. Now, I could be wrong. I ain't got a bite yet, but seems like the right spot. There it is. I was correct, correct the mundo. <laughs> you know, they're getting churned up. They nice and cold. First little bass. Nice, cold, pretty little thing. Thank you, sir. I'm telling you, man, it, it just makes sense, right? I ain't mean you're gonna get a bite all the time, but it makes sense. It makes sense that they will be, you know, looking around since all of the fish got stirred up. They the apex predators up in here. You know, ain't nobody else eating them. So why not get stirred up? So I decided to throw on a little uh, green pumpkin one. Three quarters. Slight bit bigger than a Tic Tac. Let's see how they uh, respond to this one. Even though it's gotten super windy out here, I've power pulled down, so it really don't affect me. I can stay here and fish as long as I want the area that I want to fish until I feel like it's time to move on and I've exhausted it and there are no fish willing to bite in this particular area. See, here's my thought process. If you're going to purchase something, don't be cheap. If you're going to use it, get the stuff that allows you to do what you want to do. That way you ain't fussing all day long. You know, most people, when they look at their budget and they say, well, that's too expensive, man. I can't afford it. So let me uh, just find something cheaper. Then they get mad when when they buy something cheaper and it don't work or don't add up. Well, you only get what you pay for. So remember that. Don't shortchange yourself when you're trying to get stuff for yourself. You know, don't shortchange. Go ahead and get it. Pay right the first time. That way you gotta keep paying over and over again. If you don't have the money, Save up for it. Delayed gratification, ain't nothing wrong with that. I knew I needed a steady platform. I, I did my homework and my research and this bona fide seemed like it met everything that I needed. And so, you know, it costs uh, 1600, but it's worth every penny of it. Penny of it. I can stand, I can fish, uh, it's, it's steady, I feel comfortable, ain't nothing wrong with it. You know, then I didn't want to keep dropping no anchor and tie no more, you know, anchor widget and all that other kind of stuff on it. So I got me a power pole. That's another, what, $800, <laughs> you know. Then I wanted to fish at night. I had bought some of the, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I bought some of the cheap uh, Bass Pro ones you know and for some reason man they, they just wouldn't stick they kept peeling off but once again you get what you pay for so I, I you know i stepped up my game and went and got the yak power lights that i said i would never buy because they were too expensive but the end result is incredible <laughs> so what i'm doing is making the kayak the way i want it and I'm not skimping on what I need. If I want it, I save up for it and I get it. Right now, I'm toying with the Bixby motor. You know, uh, it probably is another grand or something like that between that and the battery. Um, but to be able to move across more water a lot faster and just paddle when I get to the, you know, the fishing area, once again, I think it'd be priceless. You know, so you gotta make the moves. Don't complain, just make the move. Make the moves that's necessary for you to be successful in what you do. Amen? Amen. All right, let's get back to fishing.
I think I have exhausted this area. Nothing is showing up. Nothing is biting. So, we move to the other side of the dock. All right, y'all. I'm just hodgepodge fishing. Way out in the deep, way deep down in the jungle. I'm giving you a chance, Green Pumpkin. Show me what you got. Tell you, man, you want me to throw my blue Tic Tac back on? Black and blue. Is, uh, nothing else seems to be working right now. All right, last cast, and we're going to switch to my black and blue. See if that do anything. Not finding these fish. Wanting to bite. All right, y'all. There it is. Black and blue. Tic Tac. Everything else has failed. Let's see if the Tic Tac can get the job done. Thank you, sir. Something was on me, but I got caught in a tree with the power pole and lost it, so it wasn't big, obviously. But then again, I don't ever know what it is. This is where Kinnamagundi ends. All the wind, all the bait fish, if it's pushing anything, it should be right here. Well, we have come all the way to the bottom. Don't nothing hit here. Time to make our way back. I always envision catching a big old five pounder out of here in this area. out of his mouth and caught him on his uh oh no we're still in there come on well you're always happy when you catch him thank you sir you're always happy when you catch him one more As you catch it, you catch it. Thank you, sir. And every now and then, one of them big juicy ones jump up on there. And then you scream like you're a little kid. <laughs> like them snakes, you lost your mind. I hadn't caught fish in so long. I was just excited to catch a fish. Even that first snake, I'm talking about, yeah, about two, three pounds. He's about a pound and a half. 
they look so much bigger man so after i caught the three pounds six ounce the one i did weigh i realized that the first one was not two to three pounds he was a pound and a half at, at most um so i i don't judge them as well as i judge bass obviously <laughs> It's all good though. Let's start making our way out of here. What time is it? 12.24. Come on, Wayne, I just got here, man. Yeah, see that? Wayne came out of nowhere. We was doing good. We good. Ah. Mm. Mm. I know I'm grunting right now. Ugh. Other times I grunt, I don't know I'm grunting. Whew. Yeah. Oh, look at this crazy wind, man. I'm paddling, but I'm not moving. <laughs> Ooh, Lord have mercy. I feel like I'm on the ocean, man. I'm fighting waves trying to get off the shore. There gotta be some fish around here setting up. Well guys, it's time to make our way up out of here. We got a uh, bunch of little puppies today. And uh, it's super windy out, so I haven't been able to kind of stay positioned, except for when I was going the other way. But it's all good. Got things I got to do, man. So I got to get out of here. Do that parenting that I have to do today. And uh, hey, fam, you know what time it is. It's Red Big John. Always remember, keep the Lord first and keep your lines tight. God bless. I'll see you next time, man. more than 15 miles per hour. Alright. Come on, stroke nice stuff. Put in the work. Oh man, the stuff I do for a channel. The stuff I do to get the shot. The fish. Man, y'all show sure better like this one. I need to see a thumbs up. Just for me being a trooper. Come on, y'all. All right, Lord, I need the wind to stop just long enough to get me back to the ramp. Ah, oh, my arms are spaghetti. I'm hitting in. And you never know which way the wind gonna run. Like the Holy Spirit, you don't know whether it's coming or going. It's always there. Well, not 
big, but we stopped. One more fish. Ooh, sun is there. Wow. Can we block out the sun? Let's turn it this one. This one. Look huge, right? He ain't. He a little smaller. Thank you, sir.